just nipping up the road today and we're going to go to Oxborough Hall. That's how you pronounce it, don't we? Well, I, I think it's like Edinburgh, doesn't yeah. it? You wouldn't say Edinburgh, would you? No, no. So, uh, it's just through, is it just the other side no, of Swatham? Swatham? Yeah, it's on the, on the way to Swatham. It's about oh. 15 minutes from here. Okay. Going up the A10. 6865 again. Okay. So stick with us. Uh, it looks like a pretty good day today. It does, doesn't it? And we'll catch We're up really lucky with the weather, aren't we? Catch up with you later. Yep. Yeah, so we've turned off the A1065, haven't we, onto Cockley Clay Road. Right, and it's just it's a quite narrow. Little lane. Yeah. Go on, pheasants. Have a little meeting there. Yeah. There's loads of pheasants along here. Yeah. Right. You are approaching your destination. At time two. Hawksborough Hall. Yeah, so I won't see it at its best, will we? No. That's a dead one. Yeah, so we're here. Well, part of it's not covered in scaffolding. No. A little shop or something here. I wonder if we get a little coffee first. Yeah, if we do, can we? Just topped up with coffee now. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's obviously the old ticket office there. Yeah. I'm going to check, check you in. Dogs are welcome. Please so have your dog in a lead at all times. There's been some bars in Poppy, what have you seen? Yeah. I don't know. It's very interesting. There's some mat. Yeah. Let's pick up a map to help you find your way. Okay. Yeah, Poppy, look. Not arch nemesis. So we're at one. Yeah. So one, the visitor reception, the orchard, herbaceous borders. Oh, uh, it's all walk around the gardens. I mean, this is a walk around the ladies' wood and summer house as well. Yeah, sure. The house is open at 11 o'clock, so lost, lost you. Lost the first sniff already. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Well, it's here as well, isn't it? Yeah. But 500 years old, isn't it? Come here, so I can hear you. <laughs> Go on. Oh, they can't stiff in every lane. Go on. Yeah, so it's 500 years old, isn't it? Yeah. It's home of the Beddingfeld family. Beddingfeld family. Yeah, yeah. And apparently you still live here. Yeah, and they were Catholic as well, yeah. so survived sort of persecution. Yeah. I think we're going to have to stand still for a minute. And civil war disruption. Yeah. And uh, threatened demolition. And it's, and st uh, it's still their family home today, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's quite an, an achievement, really. Work done. Yeah. And this is a large limb fell off their beech tree. I assume it's that one there. Oh. So they've cordoned the area off. All right. Yeah, what these towers are. This what? What these towers are. Don't know. This is about to be straight up. Can you say that one that? No. Doesn't it just... They're sort of pigeons or something? I think they're more ornamental than anything else, aren't they? Home for the pigeons. This is the orchard, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite impressive, isn't it? Got like 
a maze type garden there, haven't they? A little even got a moat round it, like sort of a little river here almost. Was that part of the uh, yeah. right. some swans in it? Yeah. Cool. There's a signet there as well. Deep flowing water. Oh yeah. Have to keep the moat topped up. <laughs> like a little canal they've got here. Yeah. Obviously this is the overflow. <laughs> so it's this way to the My Lady's Wood. If our resident swan family have blocked the path ahead, please take this path. <laughs> they have enough place? I don't think so. I thought they were all in the water. Yeah. <laughs> the carving here. Yeah, the otter. Yeah. Okay. The stream again. A little hut there. So we're heading for the wilderness, it says. <laughs> it is a bit of a wilderness here as well, isn't it? Yeah. I think they've just obviously let this. Uh, grow haven't they? Various wild things growing here. No idea what that is. Yeah, one advantage of uh, the new rules, the timed entry tickets, is that often you actually find yourself all alone even on yeah. a Saturday. Sunday. Oh yeah, even on a Sunday. <laughs> I'll edit that bit out. <laughs> Yep. I was saying on the map that they purchased them, uh, some of the woodlands around the estate, which was part of the ancient estate. Oh. Yeah. yeah, perhaps you want to build some dens so you can go and build some dens in there. You can have a den? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got hidden tree tree roots. Yeah, I think this is the extent of the woodland walk, and then you turn. I think it turns you back now. It's very pleasant there. All right, come on then. We've got like a built up path here, haven't we? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, well, they've probably met, created these channels here, haven't they, to yeah. watch to carry the water away. Right, back towards the house now. And we've had to create this little path here because there's a load of tr damaged trees over there. Go on, the pups. It's getting warm now. Alright, I'm oh, sorry but the hall is now closed. Last entry is at 3.15. Keep everyone safe, a limited number in size all. In order to get everyone in for last entry, please don't join the queue. So I think this is about as close as we're going to get, I think. Yeah, so it is open. Uh, I just hadn't turned the board round. So it's obviously it's open between 11 and 3.45. They're just trying to limit the numbers of people going in.
Alright, okay. So 1553, Sir Henry Bedingfield inherited the estates in the same year as Edward VI died, strong supporter of Queen Mary, in uh, response to the rival claim to the throne. Queen Mary made him a privy councillor and lieutenant of the tower and became jailer to the future Queen Elizabeth, holding her prisoners at Woodstock. start to get into trouble, refused to sign the Act of Uniformity, which outlawed mass. Elizabeth I was excommunicated. Francis Drake circumnavigated the globe. Sir Henry died and it passed to his grandson, eight-year-old Henry, later known as a Cavalier. And the priest hole was created. 1642 Parliament confiscated Henry's estates. Henry Fort was captured at the Siege of King's Lynn, fought at the Battle of Marston Moor, imprisoned at the Tower of London. Parliamentary troops burnt down part of Oxborough. States were leased to raise £50,000 for Cromwell's war in Ireland. Henry's estates were confiscated by Parliament. Henry the Cavalier's second son, Henry was made baronet for his loyalty to the king. So things were looking up. Oxborough was inherited by the second baronet and he set on restoring it. The third baronet received a Jesuit education on the continent. Okay, There's really not much you can see here. Field inherited the state and married Charlotte Jerringham. So it says Oxborough is a truly unique and special place, vulnerable, fragile, yet through oppression, civil war, devastation, dereliction, threatened demolish, demolition, still stands virtually intact after more than 500 years of turbulent history. And they're doing a six million pound conservation project. We found after a dormer window slid off the roof and crashed into the courtyard. Significant issues across the roof, dormers and chimneys. So it's got a precious collection of wallpaper, furnishing paint, paintings and tapestries. Conservation will take around two years. It's got 27 ornate chimneys created in the Victorian age. and dormer windows in the roof. Oh, it's quite dark in here, so... Mary Queen of Scots. Some embroideries from the prison created by Mary Queen of Scots, Countess of Shrewsbury, created between 1569, when Mary was held captive, brought to Oxborough by Mary Brown for an uh, marriage to fourth baronet Sir Richard Bedingfield. Very ornate fireplace. Presuming this is the library. Yes. Yeah. Um, it used to be two rooms at one time. Yeah. It was a breakfast room and a bedroom. Okay. And then it was altered in um, 
and about the 1830s okay. and turned into one big one room. big library yeah the library was where the dining room was at one time yeah the uses of the rooms have been changed, changed yeah various times yeah an old translation here so he says the bedding fields are faithful to the crown so during the English civil war support of the royalists at the battle of Marston Moor they managed to escape despite being defeated quite a feat considering that 18,000 royalist troops and f around 4,000 were killed 1,500 taken prisoner in two hours painting was done by an unknown artist shortly after the battle which painting shows a crowned Virgin Mary sheltering Sir Henry Bedingfield, first baronet, Lady Margaret Bedingfield, and their family beneath a blue cloak. Yeah, so he had uh, Jacobite alliances uh, during the Jacobite rising. That's what he was saying. How far would you go to protect a secret? Henry kept his allegiances well hidden, but we know from the records of the Jacobite banker. Henry made four payments of the value of £285, equivalent to £55,000, was accused of government of sending horses and servants to help James, which he strenuously denied. something isn't it? Yes, it's, um, it's a display cabinet Yeah. and we think it was built by the 6th Baronet in the 19th century on one of his tours of Europe but it is actually dates back to about 1630 Right. and it was made in Antwerp. Okay. Um, the doors in the front normally open but the no. hinge is now so fragile. You don't open it? No. no. But inside there is, it's just like a little stage. Yeah. And the bottom is ebony and ivory. Yeah. And then round the outside, there is painting, and every other one is a mirror. Right. So you put all little trinkets in there. Wow. So a boy, a girl, and a page. <laughs> is that there? That's a that painting. Photo up there. Oh, yeah. to repair, uh, 14 dormer windows to dismantle and reconstruct, and 27 chimneys to assess. And the reason it's so challenging is mainly because of the moat. The moat wraps around the whole building, uh, has a fragile clay lining. If we were to use a traditional scaffold foundation, it would likely crack that lining, and the moat would drain over time, damages the ecology, and damages the house. So to overcome that problem, uh, instead of sitting on a traditional foundation, the scaffold was set on large marine bags of sand at the base of the moat, and the scaffold sits upon that. That helps spread the load out evenly. The scale of it is impressive. It contains over 30 miles of scaffold tubes and over 20 miles of scaffold boards. So originally, when we thought that it was a case of reinstating the dormer windows, the initial estimates were around 90,000 pounds, which is a large sum in itself. Here we are three and a half years later. Um, for a lot of I'm finding out uh, between 
tree ring dating of the roof timbers. Some of the floorboards will be lifting and haven't been out for hundreds of years, so they'll be looking for underfloor archaeology. Things that they're finding. Sunday Pictorial. What's that dated? December the 23rd, 1917. Matches. Navy cut tobacco. Yeah. That's no, quite interesting, but I uh, can't see an awful lot in the light on my brain. But yeah, and Jenny and uh, Poppy are sitting under the tree over there. So I'd better go and rescue them then. Okay. Yeah, so it was very nice walking around there, but you can, you're limited to downstairs. Um, so I didn't see the priest hole. There's supposed to be a priest hole there. And obviously, I, I think it's a story of uh, perseverance, really, isn't it? They yeah, it is. managed yeah. to hang on to it. You know, he supported the Jacobites. Right, yeah. Well, they supported the Jacobites, the family supported the Jacobites. They managed to survive that. They managed to support the Catholic suppression uh, during Elizabeth's time as well, before that. And, uh, yeah, amazing that they hung on to it. Poppy's glad to, hey, hey, hey. Poppy's glad to see you back. Glad to see, glad to see me back. Oh dear. Very good waiting. That's yeah. She's fed up waiting now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we'll have a little cuddle. Yeah, so there's a, says this box hedge and is old and fragile. Be careful not to stand on any plants as you explore, explore the parterre. Don't know whether they can trust or not to do. No, no, I think probably safer not to. <laughs> I'll just have a little wander. Tiny little uh, privet. <laughs> I'm here. I'm not going too far. Maze for rabbits. <laughs> well, hamsters probably. Yeah, so a bit of a shame we can't see the outside of it. Let's hopefully come back one day and see the outside. See the outside of it. Yeah, that's it for this uh, bit of video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications icon and you'll get more updates when we release a video about walking around a state your house with a load of scaffolding and uh, <laughs> white sheeting all over it. Mighty impressive vegetables here. Greenhouse then.